How are you doing? Today we're talking about skin. And I'm here without makeup, yes. Um, the reason we are talking about skin today is because every time I post a selfie, uh, I get uh, DMs or on the comment section or someone just asking me, Mother, what do you use on your skin? What can I use on my skin? I've struggled with skin issues or with acne or with pimples and I need to find a solution. So I get a lot of those questions, a lot, especially because I do short videos on my stories on Instagram and Facebook. I always get DMs of what can I use on my skin, what I've been using on your skin. So I've decided to do this video because I'm someone who has struggled with skin issues. I had acne, I had a lot of imperfections uh, on my skin, and uh, it's been a journey, and I wanna talk about what I did and what I do to maintain good skin, yeah? I can say this is the best uh, my skin has been. I still have a bit of scars that I'll show you, uh, but uh, I look good and I feel good and I'm confident in my skin. So I am not a dermatologist, Yes, so don't. I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not a skin specialist, and I don't sell skincare products. I'm just here as your big sister. I'm just here to talk about something that I've overcome to someone who's still going through the same thing. It's like what I do even about relationships and such things. A lot of times I talk about my experiences and what I've gone through to be able to uh, inspire you, to be able to help you so you don't go through the same, to make your journey easier. Because why not? It's not helping me to just keep quiet with this information while I can come here and share it with you. I don't do a lot of lifestyle and such videos, but uh, it's part of everything. Yeah, I want to help you and I just want to encourage you in your journey and to tell you you're not alone and you're not the only one who has struggled with skin. A lot of us have had those struggles, but uh, things have worked. And that is why we have this video. I am so excited, so excited, so excited. So, so I, I had some videos when I was struggling with my skin issues, 2017, 2018. 2018 actually was the peak, yeah? And I had some videos, I can't find them on my phone, but I have some photos. Although on most photos I have done makeup, you can still see like I have bumps and all that. So I will put, I will put the photos here during editing and zooming so you can see some of the things I'm talking about. It was really bad by the way. I have covered it in makeup in these photos and I've also used filter on my phone. But you could still see even in the photos that I had some breakouts. So welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Modon Mokirin Jaroge. I am a mindset coach and a personal development coach. I am a practicing coach. I, I, did, I work with women. I help them in different aspects of their lives, their confidence, their relationships, becoming the best version of themselves, self-awareness, and a lot of other things. And before I dive into my video today, I have an upcoming event. The first ever, drum roll, I'm so excited. The first ever Mudoni's mission event. This is my first ever event. I am so happy about it. I feel so good about it. My very first event, imagine. Finally, after two years, yeah, the baby has been born. Yeah, so the event, the event is on that December. It's at Emory Hotel. Emory Hotel is in Kileshwa. It's a central place. That's why I chose Kileshwa. It's also next to the basket. So you just take your matatus uh, at Odeon, matatus Odaya Road, and then you alight at Emory Hotel. You just alight and enter. It's just there. So the event is the self-awareness women's workshop. It's a workshop for self-awareness. A lot of the mistakes we make as women and a lot of the uh, shortcomings we go through, the challenges, and sometimes when we find ourselves in a lot of toxic relationships, people pleasing, doing things that do not represent who we want to be, is because of the lack of self-awareness. So that's why I decided my first event, I want to start from, from the roots, from the issues. So I'm going to be teaching you coping mechanisms, how to know you need to increase your self-awareness, uh, exercises you can do at home for your self-awareness, uh, a lot of everyday things to do to keep you moving forward and to make you a better woman. It's it's a workshop. That's why it's not just an event. It's a workshop, meaning we will get down, we will take notes, we will do some exercises. I will have some examples there with you. I will do some uh, real-time uh, exercises with you, yeah, in terms of mental health and such things. It's going to be wonderful. I have a surprise guest, yeah. 
However, I'm the main speaker. I am the main speaker. It's my event. I'm looking forward to having you guys there. I am looking forward to crying with you, to laughing with you, to talking with you, interacting with you, to hearing from you, and to also seeing you. You guys see me. You guys know how I look like. I don't know what you guys look like. I really want to meet you and to see you and to be, you know, to have that experience with you. It's 3,000 Kenya shillings and it's 3,000 Kenya shillings inclusive of lunch and tea and snacks and the notebooks and the pen and the gift hampers and so much. So actually when, when you come to the event, you will realize that 3K is not, in, should not, is not even enough to cover whatever you will be getting from that event. So see you then. I'm counting on you guys, my YouTube family. I love you so much. And you should not miss it. I'm not going to put it on social media, by the way. That is a physical event. So don't sit and say you're waiting for it to be live or you're waiting. I'm not going to do it. That experience is something you cannot share after a video has been put on social media. It's something you have to experience at the moment. So I will put a poster here. So this is the poster. This is the poster you can see it. I will also put it towards the end. Uh, pay your money and send that SMS. Pay your money via the till number and send that message to this phone number down below. See you on 3rd December. Oh, I'm closing ticket sale by end of November, but I might we might close it earlier when we attain the number we are working with. So please book your tickets early on. Yes. You can't afford to miss my very first event. And the way you usually are telling me, Mother, when I meet you doing the event, I am doing it now. So on to my video. So in 2018, I went through a stressful phase in my life. My skin always had breakouts here and then on my forehead, sometimes here on my chin, sometimes maybe during my period or when I'm hormonal, I would get pimples one side of my face, you know, just there. And then I'm thinking, this is normal, you know, people get pimples here and there. So I, I didn't think anything of it. I just, just maneuver and whatever, whatever. But then in 2018, it, it got really worse. It really broke out so bad. And I looked, you know, when you, you go everywhere and then everybody's like, oh, what's up with your skin? Honey, what did you eat? Honey, what do you use on your skin? You know, and then when you have skin issues, people think you don't know how to take care of your skin. People think it's something you did. People think it's something you must be doing. People ask you, Honey, you're not using this and this. How about you try? And a lot of unsolicited advice that you didn't even ask for. Skin can really mess your confidence and it can really affect how beautiful you feel. Sometimes you don't even want to go anywhere. That time, actually, I was a news anchor. I was reading news. So when I make appearances, people are waiting to see me. And then when they look at me, I'm just, my face is just full of bumps. Um, it used to affect my confidence to some extent. And that's why this video is really, really personal to me. And it's really important to me. That's why I've created this time. So I got so frustrated. One day, I woke up and walked into Aga Khan Hospital. I think it was a long, long road prestige. Um, Prestige Plaza, and I told them, I told the receptionist, I'm here because I have skin issues, I want to see the doctor. So then she told me the dermatologist is usually at Valiacade branch. So Mimi, the way you're going Valiacade. So I went and saw a dermatologist. She I was actually an Indian woman because her hair was, she had that cut for hair and then her hair was dropping to her face. And I told her I had skin issues. At some point, I felt I got emotional, you know. And then I remember she pulled her hair back like this. Akaniambia, you see the scars I have? It's because I also have acne and skin issues. But when you take care of your skin, your skin repays you also. So um, she didn't. I didn't even do much, but I just paid the consultation. I think it was fifteen hundred. I don't remember. I think it was fifteen hundred then. And then she just looked at my skin. She asked me questions. She, she checked under uh, under uh, like a magnifying glass stretched my skin a bit, and then she gave me medication for 30 days, every day, like a pill every day, it was capsules every day. And then she, she told me what to buy from the pharmacy. The medication for 30 days, and anointment, like um, a tube, a tube cream to use on my skin. That was it. So I came home, I did my medication for 30 days. By the time it was coming, she had told me by 21 days I'll have seen. By the time she told me, after the medication, I can come back for review. I didn't go back. By the time I was hitting the 21st day since I started medication for my skin, my skin was okay. Excuse me. My skin was healed. My skin had dried. You know, my skin was, I didn't have the pimp, new pimples anymore. I just had the older bumps that were healing, that were drying. 
I never, I didn't go back for review. I never went back to see her, and I've never gone to a hospital ever again. My skin recovered completely. So she gave me some advice. She told me the importance of a few things I will talk about here, and a lot of other things. As someone who struggled with skin, I would never want to find myself back there again. So there are things I do to constantly take care of my skin. Um, so I believe everything, everything you put work into, everything you water, it's like plants. It gives back, you know. Everything you put your effort and energy and you work on, it really gives back. It really grows. It really, I, that's what I believe. It's the same thing even with your skin. So, for starters, for everybody else who keeps writing to me, oh, I use potatoes, potato, like you cut a potato and then you use that, that liquid is really good. Oh, so I use tomato, na chukua nyanya, na katanisha, na paka kwa uso, inasaidia na pimples. Don't use anything on a sensitive part of your body that you cannot be able to measure the ingredients you're supposed to use. Yeah? You see, kama mafuta, mafuta iko tested. Like, they know why they say morning and evening. They know the quantity you need. But for this nyanya and naizi waru, no, this potato, nobody has done that for you. So you're just putting even acid on your face without even knowing. That's the same way we approach our, our private area. Then we'll know down there, mm? our cookie. You, when you start having uh, yeast infections, instead of going to a doctor, you start you putting garlic down there, you start putting what? These things are not medically tested and you don't know what they're doing even to your uterus. Yeah? So on a sensitive part on your body, whether it's your face or your cookie down there, do not put anything that you have no proper measurements on what you're supposed to use at a particular time. Am I making sense? I don't know what happens, but I've had these stories. So my point is, normalize going to professionals for help. Normalize going to get professional help. There's a lot of advice out here. There's a lot of, especially unsolicited advice. People will advise you to even eat anything and whatever, whatever. Please go to someone who is trained for these things. I did. I walked into a hospital and I'm like, I want to see a dermatologist. Because I was done with these back street things and this, uh, paka hi, paka hi, umejaribu hi. You know, and some of this, those things mess your face. They bleach you. They make you look color red. You know, they, they just mess. You become maybe too oily or too dry. Your, your skin becomes too oily, too dry. Yeah, so that was a, a bit a motiv of a motivational talk. Don't put anything that's not medicated on a sensitive part of your body. And, and, and sometimes we think we don't have money. You know, I don't have money to start going to a dermatologist. I don't have money to go to see a gynecologist. So I just treat my infections and my whatever at home. Sometimes we think that's cheap. But in the end, those things can really mess you up. And you end up spending a lot of money to try to undo the damage they caused and now, now to get the real and the, the true medical help you need. Cheap is expensive, yeah? Especially, you see, your face is the first thing someone sees when they look at you. The first thing, that's the first thing they need. So it's very sensitive. Let's not downplay it. So... If you have skin issues, let me start from there. And you've been struggling with acne and all that, please go to a hospital. Go to Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital. I'm all, um, go to uh, Aga Khan. Go to the hospital next to you. Ask them when the dermatologist is usually available. Or even say a general practitioner. A lot of these home remedies just solve the, the issue on top. Like the issue you can see. But you see, for me, when I went to see a dermatologist, I was to, I think, clean up my system. So walking to a hospital, it's not expensive. And do not downplay skin. These things are really serious and important. So, yeah. So after I went to a dermatologist, I was given medication with Kapona. Yeah. I was, I, I felt good. Um, so normally, I have, my skin is oily. It's, it's. It's normal, but it leans more. It's combination skin, but it leans more to the oily side. So I usually get an oily T-zone. T-zone is the forehead and this area. So my nose is usually shining after a while, my chin and my forehead. So um, after that, I knew, even the doctor told me, the importance of keeping your skin clean, uh, washing it morning and evening, and having a skincare routine. So after that, I went to Lintons, to a, to a beauty shop, and then I bought a toner, 
The toner I've, I've been using for a long time is a toner by Alison's. It's like a hundred shillings, I think. I'll put a photo. I don't have it now. It's not what I'm using now, but I'll put a photo here. It worked for me big time. I bought a toner, I bought a moisturizer and sunscreen. Yeah? And let me say, sometimes we think expensive things are things that work on your skin. This is advice I got from my mom. My mom has beautiful skin and she's never had to do the things some of us have had to do for our skin. So she told me, the best thing for your skin is what works for your skin. Um, this is what I mean. What works for your skin is what you need. You don't need what Mudoni is using, other expensive products, whatever. That is what you need. If a remis works for you, if Vaseline is working for you, you don't need other things, other expensive things that so and so is, is, is using or whatever. Use what works for you. That is your, that is the, the what you need. Sometimes we are like, eh, hey, nataka unakipaka nga nini nianza kutumia. Use what works for you. Yeah? Another thing is, I clean my face, like I've said, I have a skincare routine, morning and evening. I do the toner, the serum, I do the moisturizer, and during the day, I use sunscreen. I try to use, sometimes I forget, but I try to use. So, I, I even, I'm not telling you you have to, you know there are people who don't like showering twice a day, but even when you get home, please make sure, you, even if you're not gonna shower, whatever, clean your face before you sleep and do the mafuta, your skincare routine. So uh, that is what I wanted to share. Another thing, let me talk about the don'ts, what I don't do on my skin. I don't use home remedies, I've spoken about. I do not. I don't do the nyanya, I don't do uh, koroga, nimuna, I do not do those things. And like I've said, anything you cannot be able to know the amount of ingredient you're supposed to use, I don't do those things. I go to a hospital, yeah? Um, another thing is um, I don't go for facials. And the reason I don't is because my skin is sensitive. I have sensitive skin. And because I don't want to over scrub it and over remove even the good bacteria on my skin or the good oils on my skin. I don't want to over dry it. Yeah. And I don't want to start going and paying money for expensive facials. And then one week, two weeks later, I have to deal with uh, issues. If you have probably nice skin, if facials work for you, keep doing them. I'm not telling people to stop doing facials. I'm saying I don't. What works for me? However, I do my my facial at home. I do the scrub. I scrub using, this is just a normal scrub that I buy in the supermarket. Uh, but sometimes I find the particles are a bit spaced. So I also add a bit of uh, maize meal in a funny, a bit of a thicker paste. I use this to scrub. Uh, I also do the clay mask. This is French green green clay mask. This I buy at the village market at a shop called Elixir. Elix, E L I X I R. Elixir, Elixir, something. This works. Uh, and then I also do. I steam my face. This is my steamer. A steamer. I bought this from Alpha Households. You can get them online, uh, these uh, utensils and household online shops. This was online, Alpha Households. So I use this to steam my face, like, but I don't steam my face a lot, like once a month. So I do, I do my home facials. Once in a while I do the masks. I didn't like doing, this is Garnier. I didn't like doing the home masks because they used to make my skin more oily. But this one actually, it's, it's matte. It's even written even in matte. So this one I use it, I usually use this one, uh, but not much, like once in two weeks or three weeks. I've not been paid for this advert by the way, I've not, so anything I talk about here is just things I use, I've not been paid, I'm, I'm doing this just as good bill. So yeah, I don't do, I do my facials at home. Also for scrub, you guys know this thing, this thing is sold in the supermarket, it's, it's very rough. So I, I just put my, my hand inside, you guys know how we do it. And then, this one is good because you can do it even, like I have oily skin and some days I can wear makeup every day when I'm making appearances, when I have events, when I have meetings. Uh, so I scrub, I use this like once a week or twice a week, depending on how rough my skin is. So I just put it in there, when I'm taking a shower, I just scrub my face when I need to. This is very, it's very affordable. You can market, I use, point is, I use general, I, I don't overdo when it comes to my skin. And when I understood, you don't have to use expensive things for your skin to work or for your skin to look good. You just have to know what works for your skin and stick to that. Another thing that I do, this is the, 
that I, that I don't, this is a don't. The first one I said is I don't use home remedies on my skin. Uh, and uh, Sometimes, sometimes, let me say this. Sometimes, like now here, I have a bit of scarring here. I had some pimples a while back, they were hormonal. But every time my skin breaks, I, I can be able to tell why. Maybe I've not uh, done a facial in a while. Maybe my skin has become too oily because I'm eating oily things. Maybe I need to take more water or maybe I need to really stick to my skincare routine and do it twice a day. I always know what to do. And, and sometimes when my skin starts breaking, like sometimes I can just wake up, maybe have two people or my skin looks weird and flaky and dry. I just go back to, do, like I've said, doing my skincare routine twice. I steam, I do a, 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 a complete home facial where I do the mask, I do the scrubbing. I just take care of it and it gets back to normal. Yeah. So I don't use home remedies. I don't go for facials. I don't sleep with makeup. I do not. I do not sleep with makeup. I have uh, wipes next to my bed. And I also have, uh, well, I didn't bring my makeup. You guys know makeup, the makeup remover. I use the Garnier one, the pink one. So even if I won't do much, I remove my makeup and then I use my wipes to clean the excess makeup and then I do my skincare routine. I do my toner, serum, moisturizer, I finish. So I don't sleep with makeup because it affects, it makes my skin look really dark the following day. And I get, sometimes I get a few pimples or just those two small like rashes. So the other thing that I don't do to my skin, I don't keep touching my face. Don't keep touching your face. We touch a lot of things with our hands. We are touching the hand sanitizer. We are eating food here. We are in our handbags. We are touching money. So when you keep touching your face, you transfer those germs to our face. And especially if you have sensitive skin, it could cause breakouts. So don't keep touching your face. Those are the don'ts. I don't do those things to my skin. Another thing, the do, the do's, of course I've spoken about these things. I have a skincare routine and I really stick to it. So now what I'm using, I am using a toner. A toner is good because it tones down your pores. I have large pores. So I'm using Dr. Organic Toner. This is what I'm using. But you can use the Alison one, the one for 100 bucks. I didn't find it there. I, I, I don't mind using it. It works for me and it's affordable. So, so this is uh, Dr. Organic Toner. I'll put some photos here. Of the products, I use a toner, I use a serum. This serum is a gift from Beauty Bar. Beauty Bar is an online shop on Instagram. They sell nice things. They've not paid me by the way, but they gave, they did give me this as a as a gift, I think three months ago. Because I buy a lot of things from them. So yeah, so this is the serum I use. This is the one I had bought from them. It's also nice. It's also really nice. So I use the toner and then a serum. After the toner dries, I use a serum. It dries after like a minute. I use the serum. After the serum, I use the moisturizer. I'm using Cetaphil. It's so much, but it's a lot inside. Because I've used it for like three months and I have enough left for like another six months. So, and it's like, I think 3K or 2,500. So and then now, uh, occasionally, or days that I'm going out of the house, I use the sunscreen. This sunscreen is Biobalance. It has the white residue, by the way. <laughs> But I like it because it doesn't make my skin oily. A lot of sunscreens I've used before that doesn't have white residue make my skin more oily because I have oily skin. So I don't mind it. And a lot of times when I use it, I have to put makeup on top. So the white residue thing doesn't show. So I do have a skincare routine. I'll show you what I use. I clean my face twice a day. Yeah, I don't just do the morning routine. That's why most of the products say morning and evening. Yeah. Uh, I exfoliate, like I, I, I scrub my face and all. Like this one is usually in my bathroom, in my shower, yeah, when I'm, when I'm showering. I also drink water. Please take a lot of water because, uh, you know, skin is the largest organ in the body. We learned that in school. I don't know if it's changed or it's the same. Uh, so take care of it. Yeah, so take water, take pages, just take care of yourself. So another question someone had asked me is about bleaching your skin. Is it okay to bleach your skin? Or then it's okay to... I think it's you do what you makes you happy and do what you want with your body so long as you know the consequences so long as you I don't I don't do it I don't I have tried before I have tried before but then I was like you don't know the repercussions uh, 20 years from now you don't know what your skin will look like and another thing is uh, some of those things you have to become a slave to you have to keep reapplying or redoing them otherwise you go back to factory settings yeah so uh, a lot of other things that you can use can also bleach your skin. Like for example, those nyanyas, 
using lemon on your skin, using those those home remedies. Sometimes they change the color of your skin. So also be very careful when it comes to that. Uh, I think I want to end my video here. I hope I've helped you. And please, if you know someone close to you who you can talk to, don't go giving unsolicited advice to strangers because I've had people do that and I don't like it. If you have someone close to you, your sister, your friend, someone who has skin issues, tell them to go to a hospital or to a dermatologist. Please don't go to this. Uh, black. If you have skin issues and you have sensitive skin, don't buy things that uh, at the end, this one, hey, that's idea. Hey, now you're away. Go to a dermatologist. Because sometimes the issue is not even on the surface. It's deeper than you think. Hmm? Take care of yourself. Do not downplay skin issues. And I've said, I think I'll do a video about down there. How to take care of also our cookie and things we are doing to mess things down there and things we are taking at due for elasticity and what, and we end up even messing our fertilities and such things. Anyway, uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll, leave my, I'll put my poster here for the workshop event. I expect to see you there. I do. It's you I'm talking to. So, all right, thank you so much, guys, for watching. This has been a long video, but it was worth it. It was worth it. So I don't want anybody to come asking me not only about skin. Go to a home hospital. Go to a professional and follow the steps I've spoken about here. Anyway, bye.